Hi guys, in this video, we are going to discuss few numerical questions from the transformers on the topic of losses and efficiency calculations, which are previously asked questions, which are important for our competitive exams. So first question, in a transformer, the core losses is 100 watts, core losses they given 100 watts at 40 hedges of supply volt, supply frequency and 72 watts. 72 watts at 30 hedges of supply frequency. 30 hedges of supply frequency. Then eddy current and hysteresis losses at uh, eddy current and hysteresis losses at uh, 50 hedges of supply frequency. They are asking. So how we can calculate this? Yes, can you tell me? Simple, sir. First of all, what we know. Iron losses is equals to AF plus BF square when the V by F ratio is constant. Yes, here V by F ratio is constant even though they are not given, we need to assume that. So, AF nothing but A into frequency plus B into frequency square 40 square 40 square 1600 is equals to 100. And the next one, A into F plus B into F square, B into 30 square, 30 square, 900. So, the answer is 72. They given 72 watts. Now, we need to solve these two. So, first of all, take the first equation as usual, plus B into 1600. And uh, just for easy analysis, I am doing that. Multiply with the 4 by 3. Each term multiply with 4 by 3. Because if you multiply 4 by 3, 3 1s are 3 10s are 10 4s are 40. That will give you easy answer. Plus B into 900 into 4 by 3, 300 4s are 1200. Into 3 2s are 3 4s are 24 4s are 96. So solve these equations. Solve these equations. What you will get? Let's see, these two gets cancelled and uh, B of 400 and simply 4, so 4 1s are 400 za. so B is equals to 1 by 100. So you got the, the constant value B. What about A? From this just calculate A into 40 plus B into 1600 is equals to 100. These 100 zeros cancelled. So, A into 40 is equals to 100 minus 16, which is nothing but 84. 4 2s are 4 1s are 4 10s are. So, A is equals to 21 by 10. I got A and B, both the values. Now, what you want, you can calculate now exactly what you want. Let's see here. Let's see here. At 50 hedges of supply frequency, eddy current losses. What is the answer for eddy current losses? Eddy current losses is equals to B into F square, right? So, B is a 1 by 100. F square, F square, 50 square, 50 square. 50 ones are 50 twos are 50 by 2. 50 by 2 is a 25 watts. So, eddy current losses are 25 watts. We have only one answer. You will get the answer directly. What about hysteresis losses? Hysteresis losses is equals to AF. A is a 21 by 10 into F. F is a 50 H. 0, 0 cancelled. 25 is a 100 and 1, 5 is a 1. So, 1, 0, 5. You will get the answer. This is easy way of question, sir. This is very important for competitive exams. Once go through the second question once. See here. The hysteresis and eddy current losses of the transformer at 200 volts 50 H. At 200 volts 50 H, just they given pH and PE. pH and PE. The percentage decrease in these losses when operated on 160 volts. The voltage reduced to 160 volts and frequency reduced to 40 H. Frequency reduced to 40 hertz. Voltage and frequencies are reduced. How much? Here the voltage reduced by 40 volts. Here the frequency reduced by 10 hertz. 
nothing but almost the voltage and frequencies are reduced by 20% each. Voltage and frequencies are reduced by 20% each. Yes or no? You need to give that answer immediately. 200. In 200, 10% is the 20. 40 is the 20%. In 50, 5 is the 10%. 10 heads reduced here. So, 20% reduced. Then, if V by F constant, when voltage and frequencies are reduced by same ratio, then V by F constant, when V by F constant, hysteresis loss is directly proportional to frequency. When the frequency reduced by 20%, hysteresis loss is also reduced by 20%. Hysteresis loss is also reduced by 20%. What about eddy current losses? When the frequency reduced by 20%, when the frequency reduced by 20%, AD current loss is reduced by 20% of 20%. 20% square, right? Nothing but, now we have AD current losses only 80%. We have only 80%. So, now 80% of AD current losses we have and another 80% of AD current losses we have. So, just calculate this. 0, 0, 0, 0. So, 8, 8 is a 64. So, now the new ND current losses are only 64%. New ND current losses are only 64%. Nothing but how much percent of ND current losses reduced here? 36% of ND current losses reduced here. Like a simple way you can give the answer. Of course, you may have already, you may have already the answers for all the percentages. How we can, how we can. For example, a D current loss is directly proportional to F square. If, uh, if uh, frequency, if uh, frequency reduced by 10%, when the frequency reduced by 10%, now the frequency reduces up to 0 0.9 times of F. Because 10% nothing but 0 0.1 reduced. Actually the frequency is F, from that, 0 0.1 reduced, 10% reduced. So, now the new frequency only 0 0.9. So, the eddy current loss is directly proportional to 0 0.9 times of frequency whole square because 10% reduced. If 20% reduced, 0 0.8. If 30% reduced, 0 0.7. If 40% reduced, 0 0.6. Yes or no? So, now tell me. AD current loss is directly proportional to 9 by 10 square into F square. So, AD current loss is directly proportional to 81 by 100 into F square. Therefore, the AD current losses now we have only 81%. Nothing but how much percent reduced here? How much percent reduced here? Almost 19% of AD current losses reduced here for 10% of frequency. When the frequency reduces, AD current losses also reduces. When the frequency reduced by 10%, AD current losses reduced by 19%. How you know 19%? 9 square is a 81. 81 is short of 19 for 100. If a frequency reduced by 20%, 8 square. 8 square is the 64. 64 is short by 36%. If the frequency reduced by 30%, 7 square, 7 square nothing but 49, 49 nothing but 51% of AD current losses reduces. Like that we can calculate. If the frequency reduced, sir if the frequency increased, if the frequency increased, when the frequency increased by 20%, Frequency increased by 20% nothing but, now the frequency increased up to 1.2F. When the frequency increased up to 1.2F, 1.2F square, 1.2F square nothing but 12 by 10 square of F square, 12 by 10 square nothing but, nothing but 144% of F square, 144%. When the frequency increased by 20%, yet the current losses increased by 44%. AD current losses increased by 44%. See here, 44% added to the 100, 19% subtracted to the 100, 51% subtracted from the 100.
like that you can calculate so if the frequency reduced i given up to 30 percent 40 and 50 percent you need to write if the frequency increased by 20 percent i given only for 20 percent for 10 20 30 40 50 like a make a table you will give the honor answer for any question not only a d current losses a d current loss is directly proportional to f square when the v by f constant if v by f not constant a d current loss is directly proportional to v square in induction motor torque directly proportional to f square in dc series motor torque directly proportional to i a square for all those questions the answer is same like that like that for competitive exams you need to prepare like a way if they asked you like a question wherever you go you have to give the answer within seconds that is way of preparation for competitive exams okay guys these are questions uh, let's see in the let's see next question also in the next video i will discuss the few more questions based on the losses and efficiency